Hi everyone, uh, Peter Nock here from Hard Knock Garage, uh, Diecast Customs. Just showing you a couple of uh, models that I've uh, built for my uh, niece. Um, so she obviously likes pink. Uh, the one on the left uh, is a kind of a Bozuzuki um, Shakatan style car um, uh, based on a Maisto Datsun 240Z. Uh, the one on the right is sort of a similar um, kind of vein but more of a drift car um, which is a Borago 288 GDO. Um, so the first one uh, on the left there, number 22, uh, her favourite favorite number, uh, that one was uh, put together for for her as I said. Um, I went, wanted to do something quite crazy uh, with it just around the style. Um, I really quite like those kind of cars. So it has uh, obviously um, the body kit. Um, I used a bit of wood actually for this for this part here. Um, aluminium tubes for the uh, exhaust um, and styrene cut uh, for the, the rear part. Uh, I did all the decals on my Cricut cutter. Um, I'm happy to do a video on how that works. Um, as well, that includes this uh, cherry blossom on the top, um, the sun, rising sun. Um, I quite like this this decal on the back. Uh, a friend of mine suggested this one, so it's he he doesn't like Hello Kitty, so it's Hello Not Kitty. Um, and I've got a dat son of a bitch uh, one on the back too. There's a couple of other little ones. Uh, if you just have a look, um, this little one here is a, just a wee decal, which is a Japanese one for Lunar Drivers. Um, and I've got one of the little drift rings just on the back as well. Uh, it does also have lighting under it, um, a little bit hard to show during the day. Um, I might get a picture of that uh, to show you at a later stage. So got that one. Um, didn't I? Don't think I did any engine detail on this one. Um, the hood doesn't actually want to open, but all the doors uh, open. The rear hood opens as well, um, and that's where the light switch is, uh, and the spoiler pops off. I have that one. So the next one is a, a Ferrari 288. Um, quite an interesting car to, to, to work on in this sort of style. Um, uh, basically, I had a whole lot of pink paint left after painting the other car, so I thought I'll, I'll do this one. I was going to paint it like a nice pink, um, but actually I wasn't too happy with the paint job, so I started sanding a bit of it back and, and the white... Uh, primer came through and I thought well actually there's a lot of kind of those dirty drift cars out there um, so I thought that that could be quite cool you know but bit tatty so it's got the same wheels off the Maisto 240Z um, it's got 22 because that's that's my niece's lucky number um, drift girls NZ because I thought maybe she could you know do some drifting start a club um, Got a wee, oh, a little bit hard to see in the light there. Has a uh, intercooler in the front. Um, I thought I'd put that on. Not my boyfriend's car. Lady driver at the back. Um, and princess, because she likes to be a bit of a princess. So put that one on as well. Um, quite enjoyed doing the turbo for it. So I used the original motor cut the turbos out because they were quite small and basically uh, scratch built larger ones um, and put those in and they're plumbed down into the back for the exhaust that goes across which I think is off a Mercedes CLK GDR um, something like that so still still all opens it has Ferrari F40 seats in it um, I did cut the inside of the housing out there just so that I uh, had a bit more ventilation. Um, thought that'd be quite a cool car. Um, 
I quite like the kind of Japanese style cars so I'll definitely uh, like to do another one or two in the future a um, little bit uh, hard to get a lot of those sort of 80s Japanese cars and in, in die cast um, particularly with op open features um, so have to see how that goes anyway uh, just thought I'd show you those ones uh, just another car to show a little bit of variety in what I do um, I'll do another video on this later, but uh, Chev Balea, um, done done with a rusty paint job, um, which is quite fun. So anyway, uh, that's what I'm up to at the moment. Catch everyone later.